all right guys welcome back to the video it's been a minute has been a minute but today we are here with the truck it's a different type of video i'm not no mechanic i'm just a little youtuber you know but i was like why not make a youtube video if i'm gonna be doing this so taking out everything in my truck and i'm trying to see if i can find it i got to put this in it's gonna have my base go but i was like i'm gonna clean out my truck first it's kind of dirty so i got my shot back and let's just go ahead and get started and i'll play some videos for y'all let's get it before we get any further um we don't about got this seat out but i'm gonna give y'all a before and after look at the truck right here Let's get it. Alright guys, I um, just got done unscrewing this. So theoretically, I want to see the like this. And it's ready to come out. So this one's a little bit different, I think. No, actually, this one don't even got no wires like the other one did. But I'm gonna set this, set y'all up, like hopefully, stay right here so I can get the darn. Wire out right here. Ah, that's why it's hung up right here. So, all you gotta do right here and take this wire out is this little gray piece. It comes out. You pull it out. You press in, and that allows that piece to come out, and then you're free now the seat's free and then what i do is i always put the gray piece back in so i don't lose it so I just put it back in there now your seat's free and it should just slide on out now we got a mess we got to clean up it's time to vacuum got that out i don't know if this comes out or not but we're about to find out um, okay hopefully the camera's recording see if the center console comes out pretty sure it does because it's loose down here to come out but it slides on this side off and now it's time to do some more vacuum Ooh. freak me bro 
God darn that hurt. God. Ow. Well, I'm in a lot of pain right now, guys. Um, your boy just put his knee down on a nail. Oh, God. Buddy, I can't walk right now. Yeah, my knee just went down on that. Like 260 pounds of force just went down on that. Golly. Whew, about to cry right now. That hurt like a mother trucker. But pants for babies, we gotta get to work. All right, guys, I just um, looked down at my darn knee. Oh. And I think it's bleeding. Yeah, I think it ain't even sharp either. That hurt. I was like, that's gonna leave a little bruise. Y'all see that? Well, YouTube don't demonetize this, it's for educational purposes. But I did hurt my knee. I'm thinking I'm gonna take a little five minute break and um, complain about my knee to the truck. I'll see y'all in about five minutes. Alright guys, so we got a vacuum now decent. About broke a knee while I was doing it. But now before we start wiring them things on every door. Put them right here. They all pop off. So we gotta pop these off and then we're gonna scrub them with this and a degrader and let's just get it. Well, y'all missed it. I took it off. I thought I was recording. We got the DJs are sprayed about everywhere on here. Get a little before and after. Go ahead and... Oh, yeah, that cleans up very nice. Now, I'm going to do that to all of the doors. And uh, I'll catch y'all in about 15 minutes when I get all the doors done. Alright guys, we got it very clean. Super, super stitches clean. Other than that spot right here. Not see that. Find my sponger. And we'll clean it right now. A little deep clean today. Not looking too bad. Nope, not looking too bad. We got all that done. So now we're gonna clean this thing out. Which that ain't gonna take but like two minutes. But after we do that, we're gonna start wiring this stuff up. Um, I'll see y'all whenever we start wiring, I guess. Alright guys, so basically, I'm not going to show y'all me heat shrinking all these wires together. But, we got this wire right here that I mistakenly cut off. That I got to do this. So I bought some wire strippers. Some electrical tape and some heat shrinks from Ace Hardware. All that good stuff about to heat shrink all these then we're gonna wire it up so i'm gonna go heat shrink these and i'll catch y'all later all right guys we got the wire stripped right so we're working on the radio now we gotta take out a few note nuts and bolts then um, i don't even know i can't find a lighter to use the heat shrinks so we're in a little bit of a pickle right now but we'll figure that out whenever we get the radio out i'm gonna find a lighter hopefully but i'll see y'all whenever i get this radio out all right, guys, we got this radio out, and now um, I need electrical still, so YouTube video is about to give me some electrical skills. Um, what it's looking like right now is we got a bunch of wire. A bunch of wire, and I don't see none of these plugs in there, so I have no idea how I'm about to do this, but I'm going to figure it out. All right, guys, can't figure out how to plug in this stupid bazooka base. Somebody on my friend to get here, but I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall all the junk I took out. Let's see, I'll throw all that. There's a little, I ain't done vacuuming, I'm still vacuuming, but uh, that's now. I'm just gonna get the rest of the dirt up and then we'll be have it back to drive. 
All right, guys. Bad news. Bad news. Guess what? Yep. Y'all guess it. The flipping speaker didn't fit. So I just got pretty darn pissed off at it, and I just put it away. I was like, I don't even need it. Why was I even trying to put it in here? But here's a little after, after, um, after cleanse. I have not back in back the back seat. I had a lot of stuff sitting back here. But got that. Did go to the car wash about three minutes ago. Forgot to take my phone with me to video it. But she clean now. Um, little truck detailing today. I don't even know how long this video was. My phone died like four times during the making. But it's all good. Cause y'all got a video of me about killing myself on with my knee. That really hurt. And that's the update on that. That still kind of hurts. But that's all I got today. I'll see y'all next time. Mr. Vlogs, Cody Vlogs. Like, subscribe. Y'all already know. And pop to the live streams. That's all I got to say. And I'll see y'all next time.